does this look? Well, apart from the fact that you can't fucking see me, yeah, well, it's a treat. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today I'm answering a comment that someone asked. Let me phone. Um, someone asked me, um, and it's a good question, on your, um, on some bikes, they have um, the, the prongs in the clutch basket, um, and then they have a gear there, helical gear usually, and obviously your um, friction plates have little tabs that stick out them and gauge on the side of this wall. Now some bikes, generally more modern bikes, have this, where they have an extra foot. And then in the manuals it'll say, stack all your discs, your friction plates like this, and then when you come to the last one, stick it in here. And he was asking why, you know, why is it this way? And do you have to do it? If you don't do it, it's not going to be an absolute disaster. People have been not doing it, basically stacking them all in the same way. But the question is, is why? Why do they do this? Um, so I did some um, CFD, so I'll show you that now. And what you can see, the difference between the two is is that all these pressure plates are applying, uh, friction plates are applying pressure against this side here. Now, if you then r basically rotate the last disc and put it in the actual, you know, the slot that's available for it, you'll see that, you can see the stress in the actual CFD stuff there. Um, and if you look, then basically you can see there's extra stress there. Basically, it's two reasons. Um, number one is they found that when your pressure plate uh, starts to engage, your pressure plate is pushing, um, you know, it's usually like this shape, where your springs applying pressure to it. Basically, your springs are forcing it down towards your clutch pack. And uh, this plate, your last, your out outer plate, is the first one that engages your pressure plate. They don't all evenly concertina in and out, basically. It's shove, 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 shove. So the first one to grip is usually, you know, is the first one. That's the closest one to your pressure plate. Um, and it helps with chatter and noise a bit of clutches. More importantly, what it does is, is that the clutch size you want to make as light and as small as possible, but bikes are getting more and more and more powerful. And if you can distribute the stress over a larger area instead of just having it here then you would you know you'd want to do that so to basically keep clutches small but basically um distribute the stress over the the clutch basket more evenly or you know the fact of the matter is is they can't um or you could have um a situation you know what's the extreme of that if you really want to you know um distribute the stress a bit more is what you could do is you could um, have really thin prongs like this and alternate them you know you have one here then you have one here then you'd have one here then you'd have one here then you'd have one here then the problem is is obviously you've weakened this so much by removing them all so at the end of the day the last one you you know you only have to nibble a bit out for that last one so you get to retain the strength in this you get to lighten it slightly by just nibbling a tiny bit out and you also get to distribute the distribute the stress um you know over the plates a bit more so that's mainly the reason it's one of them tiny little things that if you can just you know make a modification which is basically eat a tiny bit out of the clutch which will make the whole thing ever so slightly lighter and then basically just offset a plate so if your bike has this feature you know if your clutch has this feature and if your manual tells you to do it just fucking do it you know what i mean you don't have to and there's no need to panic if you haven't um generally you know these things are a lot stronger than they you know they're slightly over engineered or they're beyond the point of yield and failure and all the rest of it so um but for the life of the bike, really, you want to do exactly what they say by just cocking off that um, last clutch um, friction plate. Hope that makes sense. We'll do a lot more about clutches and stuff, and a lot more about everything, like dampness springs and so on. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.